This is the life. Good morning, guys. Bit of backstory, my friend Ducko, who was one of my closest friends, has moved from Melbourne to the Gold Coast, which is very exciting, but I missed her a lot. And so before I head overseas now for four months, I wanted to quickly come up and visit her. So I've just come up to the Gold Coast and today we're taking a day trip to Byron Bay. So we've got a few things in the pipeline and I'll take you guys with us. They're very your type though. They're a different breed. <laughs> they're just tanned. They're tanned, they have blonde hair, they have nice dress sense. What's my type? <laughs> Do you want to say? Don't say his name. <laughs> your type is relatively tall. Bit of definition, but not but too much definition. Not, yeah, not buff. Yeah, usually like skinnier legs than top half. <laughs> uh, Hardy Lamani with a swimmer's body. <laughs> glasses. Bit nerdy looking but it's a cute way you know what i mean just a girl like that that can hula hoop you know <laughs> that's the dream so we have just arrived in byron we had a quick little detour pit stop at the farm and co sunflower field which was one of the best experiences of my life and now we are just off to a cafe we are going to the byron general store is that what it's called yeah yeah um we're gonna get some brunch <laughs> Woo! was one of the best meals of my entire life. Both Ducko and I, we're not celiacs, but we've been told by her nutritionist and my doctor have both said to us that we shouldn't be eating gluten. <laughs> Don't watch this vlog, please, Dr. Sharma, um, <laughs> because I had some gluten today. So far, I feel fine. If you are ever in Byron, go to the Byron General Store and get that veggie burger. Oh! It is beautiful outside, so I'm gonna go for a run. I'm gonna head down towards the beach. The sun's already setting, so I better be quick, but I'm gonna leave my camera here. I'll have my phone, because I'm listening to music, so if the sunset is nice, I'll share it with you guys. I always run with my hair down, by the way. It just makes me so happy. It makes me feel so free. So if you've never tried it, run with your hair out. Let's do this. Ooh, baby, do you know that's worth? Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. They say 
running and you get to that point where your legs just feel like lead and they're so stiff and so sore and you're just like dragging them along so I hit that and then on the way home my favorite song or one of my favorite songs came on my iPod and wow I just I hit my second wind and I was like flying and I haven't felt like that in so long some of you will know I have like a knee injury I have bad knees and so I've sort of had to stop running as often as I used to anyway and so to feel that feeling again was so nice. I was just sort of chasing the sunset home, trying to make it before the dark fully hit and being powered by music and like watching the sky change colors and feeling those endorphins. Oh my God, it was amazing. If you're watching this in the morning, please go and exercise today. Have a run, um, go swim in the ocean, climb a mountain, just have a dance in your room. Just get those endorphins because I feel freaking amazing right now. <laughs> okay, so today was really, really wonderful. It just felt like my birthday, you know, everything was just a little bit extra special. But it was like the universe was looking out for me today. <laughs> Sorry if Tiger's distracting. But it was just really, really beautiful. So I'm glad I picked today to get back into vlogging. And a lot of you have been sending me messages on Instagram asking like why I stopped vlogging or why I haven't been putting up vlogs anymore. Basically, the reason is I don't feel comfortable vlogging around so. Here's what just happened. I spoke at the end of this video for like five minutes. I had this whole outro, a whole discussion with you guys about why I stopped vlogging. And for some reason when I was editing, the clip just did not work. I think my, com my uh, camera was like, I've been filming for too long and I'm gonna turn myself off. So anyway, here we are. I'm gonna just summarize it very quickly this time. Here's the thing, so <laughs> I love making vlogs and I love watching vlogs. I love like looking back on my old vlogs because it's just a way to document your life and for someone like me with a terrible memory, they make me so happy to watch. I love the feeling of being creative which comes from editing a video. It's something that you know we use a lot in school um, but as an adult you, you use it less and less and so it's really, really fun. But the thing with the vlogging is I don't like vlogging when it's just myself. I find it, I don't know, I just don't think I'm like interesting enough to do a whole vlog sort of on my own just talking to you guys. So I love vlogging with friends or just when I'm around other people doing things, interacting with others. However, my closest friends or my friends that used to make videos either have moved away um, or I no longer live where they are or they don't make videos anymore or things like that. So my close friends in Melbourne now aren't really people that are into that sort of thing and they don't mind it, but I just don't like, you know, forcing other people to be in a video or have a camera around. I would never want to make them feel uncomfortable. And I also just really like being present and being authentic and aware and, you know, 100% conscious in a moment. Um, and I think that when you're vlogging with people that aren't used to that, I think it can kind of detract from the situation or make it a bit weird. So I haven't really done one in like a long time. I don't even know when my last vlog was. I'll maybe link it down below. I was really excited to come visit Ducko because she is one of the people that inspires me so much making videos. Her editing is incredible. She's so hardworking. She always encourages me to do it, you know, to do my thing. So that was really, really nice. And so I loved getting to vlog that day. Like the fact that it was such a beautiful, fantastic day filled with so many things. And now I have that video, this video, that I can look back on and just smile and remember. And I just love it. So I'm really, really grateful for that opportunity. But I would love to hear from you guys. Like, what do you want to see on my channel? Because I have so many passions and interests and hobbies and, you know, things that I do, I don't really know what kind of niche I want my videos to be, if that makes sense. Like, obviously, travel is something I'm so passionate about and I love creating content about both on Instagram and on YouTube, obviously. But there's so much more that I have to say and that I'm interested in. And I also just wanna do fun videos. So if there's any suggestions that you guys would love to see or that you think I should make, please comment down below. I would be so grateful for any ideas. I'm also just a bit weird about how much personal information to share in a vlog. I find that hard to sort of, it's just a, a balance that you know, you've got to strike on your own and that'll just come with time and seeing how comfortable I am. The past year, six months-ish, I've just had a lot of personal things going on that I 
didn't feel comfortable vlogging and that's just some that's just a personal choice I know a lot of people put everything out there and I admire people like that but I definitely can't do that but that's okay that's not the kind of videos I want to make anyway I'm gonna end this video here so please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it it really does help my channel and helps me know what to make in the future do comment down below if you have any ideas and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah I hope you're having a really great day wherever you are in the world I love you guys lots and lots and I'll see you next time bye Baby